If you've ever scrolled to the creative menu or JEI, you may have seen this item called the crafting blueprint, but you might not have known what it actually does, and it can be quite a useful item in some cases, which is why I'll be showing you everything you need to know about how crafting blueprints work in the create mod. And first, I want to show you that they're actually super easy to craft. All they cost is one crafting table and one painting anywhere on your crafting grid, and you'll get one crafting blueprint. And since this only costs two items, that means you can also craft them in your inventory. The next thing I'm going to show you is that crafting blueprints have three different sizes. The first, which you saw in the intro, is a 3x3 as well as a 2x2 two two and a 1x1. One one. And these place very similarly to paintings, and they break exactly like paintings as well. And now that you know how to craft and place them, we can see what they actually do. And whenever you right click on the crafting blueprint, you get this menu. And we can see that it has this crafting grid here, as well as an output. So what we can do with this is we can actually drag an item into one of these slots either from JEI by simply clicking and holding on the item you want to bring over and then drag it to the slot you want. And we can see that there is two oak planks here and it already knows that that's going to make an oak pressure plate. And we can also put items from our inventory in these slots by clicking on the slot you want with an item in your hand. And any recipe you can make in a crafting table you can set in this recipe grid. And if you accidentally put an extra item in the slot that you didn't want there, you can simply left click on it with an empty hand and it will remove that item. Or if you want to remove everything, you can click this trash icon here and it will take away everything from the entire grid. And if you put the wrong item in the grid, instead of having to remove it then drag the item over you can instead just have the item that you want to replace it with in your hand and click on that slot and it will replace the item and once you have the recipe that you want you can click done here and it will set that recipe in the crafting blueprint and once you hit done on that recipe, as long as it's a real recipe, you won't be able to access this crafting blueprints recipe page again until you remove the recipe that you already have set by left clicking on the crafting blueprint. Then you can go back in and change it to whatever you wanted it to actually be. Then you can click done and now your recipe will be different. And what this crafting blueprint does is if you have the items in your inventory to be able to make the recipe that's in the crafting blueprint, whenever you right click on it, it will craft that item and put it in your inventory. And if you don't have the necessary items to craft it, whenever you right click on it, nothing will happen. And the text with the amount of items it costs will be yellow, as well as the border will be grayed out. And if we have some of the items but not all of them, it will tell us which items we have, which has that lighter border and the white text color, and it will also tell us what items we're missing. And once we have the correct amount of items, the border on the item that is going to be crafted will no longer be grayed out, and you're able to craft. If you don't want to have to individually click for each item, you can also craft as many of the items as you possibly can with the items in your inventory by crouching, which you can see that it will change the recipe requirements and what you'll get from it. Then if you right click while you're crouching, it will craft as many of those recipes as it possibly can with the items in your inventory. And this crafting blueprint is helpful for whenever you don't want to have to go over to a crafting table, put all of the items into the grid, then take out the item, since you can simply just have the recipe set and whenever you're walking by the blueprint you can right click and it will craft the items that you need, which is definitely easier than crafting them individually. And if you don't want to drag each individual item into the ingredient slot, while you're in the crafting blueprint menu, you can go to JEI and click on the item that you want to craft, then go to the recipe that you want to use and click this plus icon here, and it will set all of the ingredients into the crafting grid. 
And with these bigger crafting blueprint sizes, you can actually use each of the individual blocks as a separate blueprint. So if you wanted to have nine different recipes on a three by three crafting blueprint, you can. Now, another thing is with recipes like the cogwheel that can use many different types of items to craft it, like this can use 11 different kinds of planks for the cogwheel, then whenever you set it to only do one specific type of plank, it will only craft if you have that kind of plank in your inventory. As you can see, I have spruce planks and shafts in my inventory, but it's not going to craft the cog wheel until I have oak planks instead of the spruce ones. But there is a way around this with one of two things, either the attribute filter or the list filter. So with an attribute filter in your hand, you can right click to bring up this menu. And you can see here that we have an item slot where we can place something in and it says add reference item. So if we place any kind of plank in there and we hover over this little bar here, we have a bunch of different options that we can scroll to select. So there are some very broad attributes like being placeable or less broad ones like being furnace fuel. But the one we want is called is tagged hashtag Minecraft planks. So what this will do is anything that has the hashtag planks tag is going to be able to be used. Once we have our hashtag planks tag, then you can press this add attribute to list button here. And if you want to remove your attributes, you can just click this button and that will remove all of the attributes. And you're also able to put on multiple attributes, but for this one, we only want to have the one hashtag planks. Then you can click this done button. And now if we go into the crafting blueprint and we put a shaft as well as our attribute filter, it's not going to know to put a cog in this slot, but what you can do is drag an item into this slot and it will set that item as what is going to be displayed here. And this crafting blueprint is always going to try to take from the first slot in your inventory that it can that actually has the item that it needs. So as we can see, it doesn't matter if we want it to do spruce planks. If the first slot that has planks is oak planks, then it's going to use oak planks unless you switch it around, in which case it will use the first slot. So it's just good to know that for whenever you're trying to craft so you don't accidentally craft with the wrong item. So now we can see here that we have spruce, jungle, and oak planks. So if I go to craft a cog wheel, it's going to use up the spruce planks first, then it's going to switch over to jungle planks, and then it'll switch over to oak planks. And now that we ran out of planks, it says that we need more planks to be able to craft the cog wheel. And you're also able to use list filters where you can set a specific type of item that you want rather than just having an attribute that allows for all types of that item. Say you have an abundance of spruce and jungle planks and you don't want it to use any other kind of plank. So you can set just those two in the list filter, click done, then set this list filter in here along with a shaft and we can give it whatever display you want. Then when we click done, we can see that I have oak planks in my first slot, but since it only takes jungle or spruce, it's going to take jungle since those are the first slot that actually has the correct item. And if you have a recipe like the cogwheel that has tagged items like this, if you click this move items button, it's going to put an attribute filter in the slot rather than just a random plank. And we can also see that with certain items like the large cog wheel, it has multiple different crafting recipes. What you can do is set the crafting recipe in the blueprint and you can set this secondary display slot. Since this first recipe requires a shaft and the second one requires a cog wheel, we can go back here and since this is the one that uses a shaft, to make it easy to remember, we can set a shaft in this secondary slot so we know that this large cog wheel recipe is the one that uses shafts. So then you can set that and we can also put the other recipe in another slot 
and we can put a cogwheel in the secondary slot so we know that this is the recipe that uses cogwheels. And of course, if you're close up, you can see that the recipe says it's going to take a shaft for this one and a cogwheel for this one. But if you want to be able to see from further away which recipe it is, you can use that secondary display slot. And it's also important to know that these crafting blueprints are not meant to be automated. They're simply here to help make crafting manually easier. And if you wanted, you could also have each crafting blueprint have similar items that craft. So say you want to craft a mechanical mixer, and you would also probably want to have the crafting recipe for the whisk and cogwheel close. So you can do that by going over to the next one and telling this one to make a cogwheel and telling this one to make a whisk. So now you'll have your whisk recipe and your cogwheel recipe right next to where you need to use them. And in addition to being able to place these crafting blueprints on walls, you can also place them on floors and ceilings. So if it's more convenient to have them on the floor or the ceiling, then you can definitely do that. Finally, let's say you want to craft something like slabs, but you want to do it with any type of slab. So you put your attribute filter in all three slots, then you put a slab as your display slot, and you click done. So you're gonna make, say, some mangrove, jungle, and spruce slabs. But when you do it, you find out that you make the mangrove slabs, but then you have one mangrove plank left over, but you still have three jungle planks. And since you can't mix different types of planks to make a slab, it can't craft anything. It's trying to use that mangrove plank since it's in a slot before the jungle planks. And sadly, there isn't a way around this. All you can do is move the mangrove plank to a different slot in your inventory and then craft. But if you want to craft something like a water wheel that can use any type of plank, whenever you set that recipe with the attribute filters, you'll see that it says you can use any different type of plank for the crafting recipe. And in my case, I have eight different types of planks and we can use all eight different types to make the water wheel. Hopefully this video allowed you to know more about how crafting blueprints work so you can use them in your own world. And don't forget to leave a comment down below with what you would like to see in the next video. And while you're down there, I would really appreciate it if you hit that like and subscribe button, become a member if you want to help support the channel even more, as well as get early access to new videos. And thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.